this is a bit weird because this is, you know, people always ask me, you know, how do I, you know, how do you feel about street art being in galleries? And to me, what I paint on the street is always different to what I put in the galleries. Street art's one thing, galleries, different set of challenges, canvas, time, experiment, mediums, blah, blah, blah. However, this is a replication of what I put in the street, which is a bit weird. A different set of feelings. Not sure that it's right, but it's interesting. It's an idea, and we'll see how it works and see what it looks like and see how I feel about it. It's about size, location, and loads of them. Getting up is the name of the game. It's a total graffiti hangover that I can't shake off. But I think it's, I think it's cool, I don't want to shake it off. It's, you know, location, lots of them. Get up, make sure everybody knows your name. And it's no longer about the name, it's about what people recognise as being me. It doesn't matter whether they know that Iron is responsible for this and Iron is responsible for that. It's, that's the same guy that did that. That's the same guy that did that. And, you know, that's kind of what's important. Bigger the better. Bigger the better. A little painting versus a big painting, what's the most impressive? Big wins every time. You don't build little skyscrapers. You build the biggest skyscraper. Biggest painting. Not two little stencils take over the street. The, the, the things that I do are very site specific. One doesn't necessarily lead on to the next because big walls are hard to find and hard to get permission to paint or hard to get away with doing without permission. So yeah, it's hard for one, for one wall to link onto the next because it, there might be a gap of six months in between painting one thing and the next. You know, if I had kind of, if I had like four or five walls lined up in succession, then yeah, I might write something big that where all of them link together and made one piece, that would be pretty mad. I'm kind of self-taught and, you know, kind of discover these things kind of on my own. I didn't go to college or university, I didn't study art, I kind of, I jumped over fences and painted trains and, and then got into this and, yeah, and it's, yeah, kind of graffiti mentality, in a street art world and trying to have fun. Trying to get up. <laughs>